Welcome back to another episode of Front Me Till Friday. Back in Grand Central Park. Grand Central Park. Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here by Strawberry Fields Forever. That's and all that's all that goes on. Not only is there a guy 24 hours 24 hours playing it. That's all he does. People who walk through are listening. Hey, what's up? Hey, where are you from? The Middle East, I'm sure. Look at yeah. those eyebrows. He had eyebrows she was like totally, my fucking wasn't beard. She looking at us? She was looking straight at us. Don't be a fuck. All right, anyway. All right. Go ahead. Do your class, Pravada. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Where are you from? Middle East? Germany. Germany. Nein. Scheisen. All right. Hi, guys. All right. That's all I got in German. Prost. That's how you say fucking cheer. Anyway, this is Front Me Till Friday, brought to you by Class Pravada. Brought to you by He Hate Me 507. Brought to you by the Orange Noise. By all the homies that really hit me up. I mean, my homie Brian. Shout out to Steve. You know who you are. Um, Brought to you by Make a Wish. Make a Wish. Make a Wish, Wish, Wish. Make a Dick. But today's a good episode. Make a cum. I need you guys to to email us. Email us stuff at fmtfpod at gmail.com. fmtfpod. At gmail.com. Pretty easy. Front me till Friday pod. It's super fucking easy. Answer some questions, do some stuff, do some other shit. If um, someone asked me this the other day at an open mic, if yeah. uh, if what? a girl, if she was dying, all right, let's say you weren't in a relationship and there was a girl that was dying. Okay. And uh, she wanted to get fucked. Yeah. You'd do it. Yeah. 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 We all agreed. I think we all agreed we would. Yeah. Yeah. Was, it doesn't matter what. Didn't matter. Uh, uh, if she was ugly, I wouldn't eat her pussy. <laughs> I guess I don't know. That's what they were saying. They're like, "What if? What if? Like, there's, you know, what if her juices are can- cantankerous?" Ew. <laughs> she's like a, a to- she's like a toxic waste dump of a body. Yeah. It's Oof. like nuclear things growing and yeah, because who knows, right? Yeah, who fucking knows? That's a horrible thing. That's a bad thing to think That's about. It's a bad thing to, say, to bring this up. The sun came out while we talked about it, though. So yeah. God. I don't know. Well, for her, it won't come out tomorrow. Mm. That's right. But anyway, uh, what's what's been new with you this week? I, I got a couple things written down on the pad. Actually, I was just You're thinking about because Roly's not here. We should address that. I don't think we even. Oh yeah, that. damn. We didn't say that. Oh my god, what a piece of shit I am! It's been two minutes and forty-two seconds, and we don't have our esteemed, esteemed uh, cameraman. I actually deported him. He actually had to yeah. kick the bucket. He now, had to- now he's uh, instead of. Doing pans for us. He's using pans to cook. Yes, he uh, yeah. he is in a Mexican prison. He works in the kitchen. <laughs> I love you, Rolando. Mm-hmm. Me and more. I miss you. But uh, no, he's just visiting some family over in Puebla. He'll be back next week. Which we have Danny Martinello and Jarrett Campbell. Of course. From Canada. How can I forget? Praise be he ye. The best. When are they coming? Next week. Next week, June 5th. Oh, yeah. This is when we record. It'll be out on the 6th or the 7th. We record on the fifth. We're gonna record on the fifth. I don't. I think so. Yeah. What think, day is that? It's a Wednesday, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that. You said that. Mm. I don't care though. Well, we did one on your birthday, right? That is weird. Just by it? accident. That is. It's all by. Well, and then we changed the day, and now it's on your birthday because we were uh, recording on Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. Anyway, enough about the enough about the the inside the inside workings of Front Me Till Friday. Yeah, enough about the future. All we have is the now. What do you have for breakfast today? Fuck, Nothing. Fuck face. I don't eat breakfast. What? I don't eat breakfast. So you're just out here raw dogging right now? Yeah. Every day. Wild. You don't eat breakfast. He don't eat breakfast. I Fucking rarely loser. eat breakfast. Eat some food, goddammit. Oh, no, right here. Christ. Nutrients. Nutrients right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I usually, um, because one of the first things I do in the daytime is go yeah, to the gym. Watch out. One of the first things, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't, I, what? I just didn't like him. I didn't like the way he looked at me. <laughs> I didn't like how close like he got dudes. to the thing. I didn't like how he. St- Let me hit that cigarette. You're just gonna smoke that in my face. Mm-hmm. A recovering. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm eating. No, no. This is a. This is, a, this is not a menthol, by the way. Yeah. Right. Thank God. I love that. You have Marlboro Reds. What the fuck? I fucking love this guy. This is why he's the part. This is why he's the other half of. Well, one third of From Me Till Friday, because Roly plays a very integral part. Intri- in integral. Intricate. Is that? I did I fuck that up? I don't know if intrical is a is a word. And it is now. Mm. So you had no breakfast. So I, yeah, I normally don't eat breakfast because I go to the gym and I don't eat before I go to the gym. So okay, I, my man. Uh, 
Yo, my man, you're from Newark? I'm about to move there. Shout out Newark. Hell yeah. That dude was crippin'. He is all blue crippin'. <laughs> you know, so in uh, in Newark, they have something called the Grape Street Crips. Okay. From, uh, it's from L.A. Mm. It's uh, from Grape Street, like a grape. Yeah. Anyway, it's an L.A. gang that made its way over in the 90s, maybe 80s. Wow, all right. that, that's that nothing unites people like gang banging. Gang banging from the GDs to the BDs. That's right. That's Across right. the country, people go to gang to to gang bang. Well, gang started in prisons, my man. Is that true? Yeah, gangs definitely started. Well, well, you get bored, right? The blood started. The United Blood, the the the, the blood started in the prison. Crip, I think Crips started in LA in the neighborhoods. Mm. Anyway, we're we're way out of our element here. What do you mean? Are we? That's written on the pa- That's written on the paper. We got to talk about <laughs> the origin of gangs. <laughs> And how good they are. That's why Italians and black people are so similar. Yeah, they do. It, yeah, they yeah. love illegal activity. Both of them. They love standing on the street corner, talking shit, hmm? drinking and smoking all day. Be- being flashy. Yeah. How you doing? I see you looking hey. at me. How you doing? What's up, Shorty? Hey, what's up? Shorty had a dump truck on her. <laughs> Probably about, I don't know, mid-30s. Yeah. I'm just fucking around. I have a girlfriend, everybody. We all know that. I do this for she, entertainment. She purposes. watches every episode. She does. She knows what goes on here. <laughs> she watches this, Legion of Skanks. She makes sure I'm in line. Mm. She doesn't watch Legion of Skanks. <laughs> she watches this sometimes? No. Uh, no. No. Oh, God, no. No. Hell no. Who would waste her time watching this? <laughs> Speaking of Legion of Skanks, last night we had, or Monday, it is now Wednesday. Yes. Monday. Those are both your kids? Jesus Christ. But, um. Double decker strollers. Double decker stroller. That's nuts. And, uh, you couldn't resist. I'll give you another kid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hear me out. I think the one on the right is a kid. <laughs> I wasn't talking. I don't well, know if that's an adult. <laughs> I think that the was stroller. the big sister. You think that was the big sister? Uh, oh, whoopsie. Man. But, uh, <clears throat> Monday night, Legion of Skanks. Steve Renazizi. Mm. Giannis Pappas. How was that? Good episode. Great episode. Yeah. Loved it. They, they play this game. You just got to go watch it. It's a great episode. Yeah. I'm not going to explain shit, but there was a dickhead in the crowd that had to get kicked out. I, do? He had my blood pressure high. He just he wasn't there for skanks. He didn't really know what was going on. Mm. It was just uh the, the, the stand up show upstairs was sold out in the small room, so he came down to the big room thinking it'd be a stand up show. Was not. He did not have he fucking anyway. You know, I heard um Legion of Skanks pays their guests. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I heard they're one of the few podcasts that do that. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. And yeah. now on some of the, uh, I think on Real Ass Podcast, some of the, um, some of the like the straight, um, gas digital episodes, I think they get paid. Not the YouTube ones because they get like promotion or like, yeah, whatever. But well, yeah, so fucking many. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get in into get, get that. into the back, the back, the back yeah. rooms. Yeah, because they already think I'm some sort of fucking weirdo for just <laughs> being there. <laughs> the other day, You're Alex, uh, Alex is like, Jake's just a fucking mega fan, and we don't realize it. I'm just like. They're on to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're on to me. So much so we have our, you have your own podcast where we talk about that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, not anymore. I do got to tell you. I what did you eat for breakfast before you tell <laughs> that's me? That's what I was about to tell you. Okay. Uh, I had <laughs> so here's what I usually do. I usually do a, a sausage, egg, and cheese on a cinnamon raisin bagel. Okay. You see? Homemade or? No, no, no. This is from the bodega. Oh. I like the sauce because it's beef bacon. I'm not yeah. a huge fan. But I like the sausage and the cinnamon raisin, how it gets a little... Little sweet, little. You, you know like I mean? that? Yeah, and then sometimes you know what I do? Uh. I take some maple syrup, mm. a little cup of it, and I dump the fucking the Isn't sausage egg nice? and cheese. Oh, that boy. is nice, dude. It's like a McGriddle. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, maple syrup on breakfast food. I will put it in my eggs, my oh, bacon, yeah. my everything. I'll just dip my fucking anything. Yeah, hash browns, everything. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, fucking, smothering it. It's good. I don't trust people that uh, that don't like mixing their food around. Certain foods. Yeah, it's a little much. It, yeah, I, I like I like to get a bite of grits and eggs. Everything. You got to do everything. Yeah, or like just pile it on a piece of bread and then eat it, right? Yeah. That's the that's real, nice that's the real fat a, shit move, a right? breakfast sandwich. Yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. I would, uh, when I would sleep at my grandmother's in the morning, she'd um, sometimes make breakfast and she'd make like seven. You know how... how These the, guys, where are you guys? You guys are so pretty. Both of you guys. You're both pretty people. Where are you from? Poland. Poland? Poland? Jesus Christ. Do it, they're doing good, bro. Sorry. They, yeah, Poland has a lot of supermodels. I, really? That area of the world. The blonde hair, blue eyed. Hell yeah. Blonde I'm talking hair, about the dude that was hot. Fuck yeah. her. Yeah, she yeah. was a stupid whore. Yeah, but men are supermodels. Yes, you know, I'm sorry. Gay, I, gay ones. 
So you've gotten used to this podcast, me interrupting halfway through your story. That does happen, yeah. <laughs> I'm that so does sorry. Happen. It's going on. <laughs> but then I go. Last week I was telling you the story at like the beginning of the episode. I was telling you the story and you're just like, Roland, is the flame the frame good? The frame look? <laughs> How's the frame look? <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right. Right when I was getting to like the climax of the story. <laughs> With, I mean, within 100 episodes, we have some flaw. Yeah. 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 We're still proud. With 10,000 hours, baby. 10,000 hours. Listen, I have about f- fucking 3,800 hours put in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the smoking simian. Everybody go look that up because he's doing it for the love of the game. I'm love not saying we're not, but he's really, really doing it for the love of the game. That's okay? right. Everybody go subscribe. If you hear, go subscribe to Smoking Simeon. It's just this fucking retard. I don't create for the algorithm. I do it for me. Yeah. Right? One of those I guys. do it for me. I like to stand in the mirror and stroke my dick, and I just make things. That's how I do it. I drink alcohol, and I use that as a mechanism to do things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, smoking simian. I uh, did get real hammered this past weekend. I did too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. I yeah. did see that. And you yeah. were smoking a cigarette on a rooftop. I was fucking hammered yeah. smoking a cigarette. Nice. Isn't that nice? I loved it. That's nice. I was on a fifth floor walk up on the Upper East Side. Shout out my boy Derek. Derek. <laughs> and Jeff money. and Tim and Lou, the yeah. whole crew. So it's they have a fifth floor walk up. It's like a three or four bedroom. Mm. They have the whole roof though. The whole fucking, it's sick. That it's not nice. huge, but it's like nice. The I mean, the rent's like five grand, but it's like three people there. Between three people. Yeah. That's still About, murder. It's, it is murderous. <laughs> it is murderous. It's still murder. It is murderous. But they might have some money, you know? They got a little cash. Yeah, okay, can't, I can't do it. I got $15. Cash for, for for lunch after this. You, you really, know? dude? That's really. That's not bad, right? Yeah. I see? have ten. And I think I have another five in here. It might be fifty. You are staring at me like crazy. <laughs> What's up? Like, don't look if you don't want none. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Take us out to dinner. Shout out. But um, <laughs> <laughs> turn into early two thousands rappers. That's what it is. That's what it is. But you were talking well, about your baby. grandma at breakfast or something. Yeah, she would cook um, like a bunch of eggs, like mad eggs. You know how? It's like twelve. Yeah, it's like scrambled, scrambled like a motherfucker. And she would uh, cook bacon sometimes, and it would always. She had like a. What are you explaining breakfast to me? I know what breakfast is. Yeah, <laughs> I know, but she would always set off the alarms. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, Anton. Oh, no, wait, man, she's Italian. She's Anton, Italian. Anton, the fucking the bacon. We cooking the bacon. <laughs> we cooking the fucking bacon. There's this running joke that me and my buddy James have of our grandmothers calling up Dikembe Mutombo <laughs> to come fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> like he comes in. This is gonna. I mean, this is this is real backroom stuff. Me and my buddy James scream on the phone about it at night. But it's Dikembe Mutombo dressed up as like, <laughs> dressed up as like an African like tribal <laughs> <laughs> prince. Okay. And he would like come in like he's like an escort service, like a gigolo. Yeah. And you call him up, and he comes and like fucks old ladies. Yeah. So we have like our gra- like my grandmother like. Oh, I'm gonna call it the Kimbe tonight. He's gonna fuck my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Kimbe, do you eat the ass? No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Just hard dick. Just hard dick and 35 cents a day for my cousin <laughs> in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> for just 69 cents a day. And that's what she would tell me. She she, she would tell me about, uh, you know, growing up in Italy. <laughs> and that's what they would do there. I used to fuck an old NBA player. <laughs> yeah, day and the night. That's funny. Well, now that we know your grandma was a whore, my oh. grandma was also a whore. Okay. If you want to know, she's dead now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my grandma was the first person I saw, like, smoke cocaine. Whoa. Yeah, yeah you heard that right. Grandma smoking crack? Yeah. Holy shit. Yep. She was hardcore. <sighs> my grandma used to free base cocaine. <laughs> you heard that right. My, I saw my grandma cut a Puerto Rican dude one time and pull a gun on somebody. God damn. Yeah, she used to sell crack and all that. Good stuff. Yeah, Hell I'm yeah. more black than you. <laughs> that was a black couple, by the way. I always have to wait till they get about 20 feet away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because gu- guns stop working when you're about that far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throwing knives. But <laughs> <laughs> he's like an anime black. He, he's part of the Wu Tang clan. <laughs> he's like an anime black guy. He's like <laughs> But uh no, this is that's all true stuff. Yeah, I um, believe it. My grandma used it. to fucking in the so we used to, I used to Some live with her. hardcore. And uh in the wintertime we lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. In the wintertime we would bounce around from hotel to hotel. Yeah. 
and North Myrtle Beach because they were a little cheaper. She would be hanging out with a black dude named Debo. Y'all are nomads. Yeah, brother named Kenyatta. Damn. They sold, they sold crack and all that. They did all that good stuff. Holy shit. I remember one day my grandma pulled this little 380 on him out of, out of her purse in this hotel room. Uh-huh. And, he, and the, the big black tea said, what you going to do with that? You going to do that little fucking pea shooter? <laughs> I don't know what was really happy. He said, I don't give a fat frog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember him saying, I don't give a fat frog's ass what the fuck you got going on. There's nothing funnier than, than, a, than older black men cussing. Bro. Nothing I, funnier than that. I used to work at uh, Amazon, well, Zappos, before it was Amazon. Me and one of my best friends, white trash name, Durrell. Daryl. Not Daryl, but D E R L. One know, of my best friends ever. Shout out to him. Love him. You don't need the extra syllables. Day. I don't need it. He has Durl. a brother named Dirk. Dirk and Daryl. Daryl, Dirk, and Tommy. God damn. And Tommy is fucking retarded. Yeah. He's not retarded, but he's fucking retarded, dog. Well, the other two sound like Harvard graduates, the way you've, <laughs> <laughs> you've started this story. <laughs> Shout out to the Phillips boys. Daryl Phillips, come on by and we'll huff paint. <laughs> <laughs> Located at 69, 69 Kentucky Way. Yeah, we'll huff Where paint. Where are you guys from? Germany. Germany, Germany? again. Scheisen. A lot of Germans. Prost. Whatever. Yeah. Cheers. That means cheers in German. Really? I can, I, oh shit, I don't know how to say thank you in Germany, but I can say thank you in quite a few different languages. Thank you. I don't know what that would be. Thank you in Germany? Thank I don't you know. in Germany. Where are you guys from? Germany, Florida, Florida. Oh, Same okay. thing as Germany. Hey, what? What was? What was Whoa, bro! What was that? Bro. What was that? <laughs> so look, <laughs> so look. You saw that? <laughs> so look, we saw. So I asked the dude. Looked over and said, "Florida." He's all gay, and then he looked. He kept looking straight. The girlfriend turned around with a huge smile. Holy Did shit! Did you see that? Yeah, that was nuts. Huh? Sweetheart. Damn. Get over here, sweetheart. If Rolando was here, we'd have him fuck the shit out of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look at this fucking Casablanca esque. <laughs> but <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> I uh, I did make a list. Okay. Um, that looks like a chariot. This guy's right. That looks like a Native American on a chariot right now, yeah. on a horse. On a one wheel. Yeah. How we gave up on horse. <laughs> now oh. we have bread. <laughs> we buy one wheel. We buy one wheel and drink. My uncle makes sourdough. <laughs> we, <laughs> we get drunk and ride one wheel. What's the next thing on the list? Let's hear it. Well, I just want to tell you about a story. I hope you don't put people on the list. No, oh, there's people not, on the list. It's not good to put people there's on the list. There's people on the list. Before the story, while, while the grandma thing is still somewhat fresh. Sorry, yep. I, I wanted to mention one more thing about my grandmother, who's not as psychopathic as yours, but mine... Uh, Maybe she still has them, but she used to have horrible nightmares. Oh wow! Like screaming in her sleep. <laughs> That's terrifying. And she, I would I would be sleeping in the room next to her, where her and my grandfather were sleeping, and I'd be in the bed alone, and fucking she would scream and holler. I'd get woken up, scream and holler. She's screaming in Italian. I'm dead. I'm hard. I'm hard at the top of her lungs. Jesus like, Christ! A woman. I've, a woman's shriek is scarier than a man. Yeah, no, I know. A man, you're like, ah, he'll figure it out. But a woman is like, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh God. It's scariest, especially an old woman, a neurotic Italian old woman. And I'm laying in bed. I'm wait. I'm awoke, fucking scared as shit. And she would come in the room and feel my face, and touch me, make sure I'm alive. Oh God, I'm a mort, I'm a mort, I'm a mort, I'm I God. would beat the fuck out of Touching her. Touching my face, my grandfather. Shut up. Shut up. He's asleep. <laughs> He's asleep. Shut up. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Wacky, bro. Wacky. Not, not. She wasn't smoking crack and shooting people, but that would that would happen. <laughs> that would happen on occasion. Yeah. It's all right. That is. <laughs> no worries. He's not. Yeah. That was, that's crazy shit, right? That's so wild. What's up, man? What's up, man? I gotta find a way to bring that up on stage. God. Tell a story like that on stage. That is intriguing, dude. Hell yeah. God damn. So your story. Well, it has nothing to do like that. It mine's even like shit now. <laughs> intriguing. Why is that intriguing? Because she's a maniac? <laughs> That's wild. I was screaming out of her sleep. She used she had a, a real bad car crash too. And she would she would have recurring nightmares about the car crash. Mm. And she'd wake up thinking she's dead. She'd see me fucking in a in a coffin. She'd see my mother in a coffin. Come up. Ah! 
screaming. That's depressing. Well, yeah. actually, then, I have... And then fucking a few hours later, she's got a yard sale that she has to <laughs> attend. She's got her shit out and fucking waving to the neighbors. <laughs> Making breakfast. Hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Come style. I scream like a maniac this morning, but that's a $2 for the necklace. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, Screaming and my grandma actually have a little thing uh, mm. together because I lived with her whenever she was... I saw her dead. I was in the same house with her when she died. Yep. It was in the middle of the night. Wow. I still lived in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at that point, like Conway, South Carolina. But uh, I moved to Louisville when I was about 13, 14, about a year year after that, not mm-hmm. even, a few months. Um, but my uh, there at the end of her life, my uncle and my grandma, they actually slept in the same bed so he could... She was going through cancer and chemo. Like, so he could, like, check on her and give her medicine in the middle of the night. It's very strange. Mm. Very strange to sleep in the same bed with your mother. Uh, Whenever she's, like, 50-something and you're, like, 30-something. Right. Very fucking strange. That is weird. Super strange. But, um, but hey, I mean, if you gotta. If yeah, they had, a, they had a really weird relationship. Come to find out that same uncle Oedipus. just, like, got depressed and, like, didn't drink for a long time, but just, like, drank himself almost into a coma. Wow. I think he might be in some sort of coma. Very interesting situation going on with my, with my mom's side of the family. Never met my real dad, but all those my stepdad's side of the family. Right. They got some shit going on, too. I mean, they're not, they're not, you know what I mean? They're not angels. Or no <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but my mom's side of the family is definitely pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That happens, you know? It does. But it's kind of like my dad's side. They, they, the screaming thing is because... My uncle found my grandma dead right next to him. You know what? You know what I mean? That's his mother. Right. You know what I mean? So he was screaming and he woke up the whole house naturally. So that's how that's like Right. That's why I don't like screaming at the night at night. Screaming at night time. No, if that didn't happen it'd be fine. Yeah, I think we'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be it'd be pretty chill. Yeah. But if that didn't happen, I guess I would I don't know. It's just I don't like it. He was I, I wake <laughs> up and I wake up in a very and my other uncle, which name, I don't even want to name him because I hate him so much. He used yeah. to beat the shit out of me. And uh, he, 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 like, he ran, anyway, he has, like, it's a fucked up tragic story anyway. Huh. I don't want to get into it. Um, but he would, I would be dead asleep. He would get, like, six inches from my face. Right. And just, ah, and, like, scream. And I would just uh, wake up and I fucking, he's done it, he did it, like, a couple times. And it was, like, horrifying. Um, and he fucking, like. Would just it would do it now. Would just wake up, ah! You know what I mean? Oh, it's fucking mean, right? Yeah, you're like fuck, eleven years old. You can fuck somebody up, dude. I'm fucked up <laughs> over it, dude. I every time I, I wake up, just it, it, you look like Taylor Swift. The fuck is wrong? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought you were Taylor Swift, bitch. <laughs> Damn, let me ah. get some bread, ho. Yeah. Oh shit. Damn, she had, she do, she looked oh, just like her. British, I know she did. And she was British. Yeah. Maybe less of a cunt. She seemed nice. She did seem nice. She seemed fun and nice. She seemed bubbly. She should do a impersonator like a. Yeah, yeah. She would do good on that. She was even kind of tall. You know, it's funny how like there's mostly Elvis impersonators. Is not. I mean, I guess there's cover bands, and they kind of dress it up sometimes. Oh, but boy, do I have a story for you? Yeah. I was listening to the bonfire. Shout out Christine. Shout out Big Joe Okerson. The mm. whole fucking crew. Yeah. Bobby Kelly. Um. Uh, Kevin Spacey's brother yeah. lives in Utah, Salt Lake City. Get ready for this. He buys Rod Stewart's, I think, old limos and dresses up as Rod Stewart. He doesn't sing. He doesn't put on a performance. He's just like a wacky Rod Stewart. He just drives pretends you. to be Rod Stewart. Yeah, Rod Stewart around. impersonator that just does a limo thing. Yeah. And, I mean, Kevin Spacey's not normal either. So, <laughs> that's like... Yeah, no. Well, yeah, he has his own problem. It seems like a family thing. Yeah, they're all fucking <clears throat> weird, I guess. They are weird. He put. Uh, he was. He just did an interview with uh, Cuomo. Yeah. And uh, he's, like, trying to come back to work. Dave Smith. Dave Smith from Legion of Skanks is about to debate Cuomo. Really? Dog, Dave Smith is a real po- political fucking guy. Uh, I know. He was know. at the Libertarian <laughs> Conference thing, and fucking... And he was on the same thing that, like... Trump and all the other people were speaking. He was in the same boat. Dave Smith is a real deal political motherfucking guy, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't realize that until I knew him after a few months. I was like, oh, he, he's like, he knows Tucker Carlson and shit. Like, well, when you hear him on, like, other, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm just, I've only heard him on Skanks where he's fun and funny and mm-hmm. he's a comedian. But he has his own. But when he's on. Part, Joe, of, part of the problem is his podcast. Right, right. Yeah. But when he's on Joe Rogan. Four it's, times. It's typically a serious 
thing, and he ends up talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah. But you could tell he's he's really into that shit. It's really wild, man. It's really yeah. cool. I, I mean, I know a potential president candidate at the moment. You know what I mean? Uh. How weird is that? Him? <laughs> Him. He wants to run at some point. I don't think he wants to run for president, but I think he might be forced to. Forced to? By the Libertarian Party. By the party. people? By the people. They the want people. him. The Libertarian Party. They want him, bro. They He's are. the real deal Holyfield. Yeah. Imagine that. That'd I mean, it would be possible, be right? crazy. Yeah, Any, be wild. Anybody, anybody can be fucking president. Mm-hmm. As long as you adhere to what <laughs> the blue and the red say. As long as you shut up and read this shut paper. Shut the fuck up. That's like that old Bill Hicks bit where he's like, when they bring in the president, the newly elected president, and they bring him into a room, and they show him uh, the Kennedy assassination from an angle nobody's ever seen. <laughs> and they show him, and <laughs> they close it, and they're like, any questions? <laughs> yeah, it was just <laughs> pretty good bit, though. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah. So I'm going to change it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I want to tell you about a story that happened back in Louisville, Kentucky. All right. I say Louisville for you guys. It's really Louisville. Louisville. Well, people make fun of me when I say it right, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. People make fun of me. Louisville. Yeah, they do that. It's got to just Fuck come out. Fuck assholes. Louisville. <laughs> Louisville. But uh, I think the year is around 2009-ish. We had a fucking crazy ice storm, right? Okay. Crazy ice storm. Shit was going down. Power was out for weeks, right? Not weeks, but like a few days. Believe it or not, we were the only house on the block that really had power. Wow. It's fucking it was fucking horrible. So everyone went there to cook their crack. Tried to. Yeah. yeah. Well we lived in the south end of Louisville, Kentucky. Hold on, there's there's some fucking bitch riding a bike. Riding tourists. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, dog. Yeah. Doing you, something over here. You're making money. Yeah. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're being losers. We're over here fucking around. Would you shut up? Hey, yeah. would you would you be quiet? <laughs> we're over here fucking around. What's up? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. Check us, check us out on YouTube. It's called Front Me Till Friday. That's right. Front me till Friday. What? Front. Oh, front. Front. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Pull that on YouTube right now. Stop fucking around. Yeah. All right. That's how you talk to people. That's guerrilla marketing. Look, what were you saying? Oh, the ice storm. You were talking about the ice. Storm. Yeah. The ice storm was wild. So. Yeah. There was a Kroger, a, 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 you know, a, 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 a yep. fucking grocery store. Yep. About I know about the Kroger. We're going over to the Kroger. Quarter mile, half mile from my house on Dixie Highway. We're going to buy something boxed up and flavorless at the Kroger. We're in Indiana. I'm going to beat go the ahead. shit out of you. We don't like Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Indiana. Yeah. So um, go ahead. Yo, so the Kroger loses power, right? Okay. So all that frozen food, they throw in this, like, 100-foot dumpster in the back. Yeah. My stepdad and another, I don't know, I don't know how he even knows, but he gets us all in the pickup truck. We go, I don't even know how he knows. We go over there and we just start throwing shit in the back of the pickup truck. Nice. I'm talking about a Chevy Silverado full size cab pickup truck. Filling it. We start with the expensive shit, the good meats, the shrimps, all that. Wow. They were pretty much already gone. But when I tell you, Antonio, that we had a whole pickup bed worth of frozen pizzas. Fuck. We did. We did. My stepdad, my stepdad was the fucking Nino Brown of the South End of Louisville, Kentucky, dog. Yeah. He called everybody he knew, and they came and picked up trash bags full of pizzas. Yeah. Who are you guys charging? Nothing. Come on. Come on. Are you, you charging? Charge. Hey, come on. No. Not a guy, no, no. I mean, I'm sure he traded it for fell something. off the fucking truck. I mean, well, <laughs> what it is is you now owe me a favor. Yes. That's right, what it right, is. Right, right, right. Because it's a nice storm. Yeah, yeah. You like, can't take advantage of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, this is exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Steve, well, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm not even. Gonna, I already said his name numerous times. Doesn't matter. Steve is. He grew up in that. He lived in that house for twenty fucking years. Right. He'd known everybody. He'd seen everything. His 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 family lived in that neighborhood. His everybody lived right there within like a mile radius. Right. So he knew a oh, fucking everything that was going on. You hooked know what I mean? Everybody up. Kinda. So yeah, we hooked people up, man. I, I remember that shit. We filled up our deep freezer with fucking with fucking frozen whole truck full of pizza. Yeah. A whole fucking truck bed full of frozen pizzas. That's fun. It was wild. And I just reminded it because I'm a, I'm a part of a thing called Louisville Louisville Hood News. Hood News. Hood News. Okay. And what goes Somebody on? Somebody posted a little screenshot of something that said Poplar Level Kroger is out of fucking uh, is out of power. Shit. They're going they're throwing everything in the dumpster. Yeah. Run it up. 
Yeah. And it just reminded me of it. Have you, have you ever done anything quite like that? Have you ever broken the law with your family, your direct family? Uh, aside from uh, my father driving us around drunk all the time. That's nothing. I, that, <laughs> that's that's every day. I don't know. Uh, one time me and my dad, we didn't know what to, we, My dad had a mattress to dispose of. And uh, he's 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 kind of cheap, so he um, instead of calling like, you guys the- lost a kid. <laughs> they, that's not your kid. <laughs> he's beat. Jesus Christ! Yeah. What happened here? I think he's tired. He was like resting over there. I thought he was gonna take a shit on that tree. <laughs> he been over. Like, what the fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyway, your dad was, he had a mattress. We had a mattress to dispose of, and normally you call, like, the garbage company or the DPW, and they come, and you, they, they take it for, like, a fee. Or you got to drop it off at a building, and they take it for a fee. And my dad didn't want to pay the fee, so we went out to the woods, like, 30 minutes from where we lived. Yeah. And just threw that bitch out into the woods. Yeah, I just mean. Bang, threw that bitch out. It's like, Could have gave it to, 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 like, a homeless or something. No. He's not going to be able to carry it, but <laughs> it could have at least slept good for a couple nights. Like three nights, maybe. <laughs> for like a rain. Good, yeah. <laughs> um, but so me hearing that and you saying that, that's, you're, we're, you pretty, got, we're decently law-abiding citizens. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, for the my, most part. I mean, family, we'll cut corners, you know. We do a little, little you know, back background work, but we're nothing crazy. Yeah, we've. But that's not bad what you're saying. That's not illegal, is it? No, but we have done something illegal. Okay. Like, uh... I mean, we did, I mean... This is way This past one time, we did, um... We did kidnap a, a mayoral <laughs> candidate, and we did hold him in a room for a little while, and we played with the with the temperature. Mm. We'd heat him up, we'd, we'd cool oh. it down, we'd really oh. fuck with him. We played real loud music. We played machine music by Lou Reed, real high levels. We really fucked with this guy. <laughs> is this the setup of Celtic we, Bride? We, <laughs> We got him on film talking about how he likes to fuck kids. And that's maybe it's true, maybe it's not. We pumped him full of LSD, kept him up for four days in a row, filled his head with lies, and we pretty much... Uh, Is MK Ultra? Ma- <laughs> <laughs> we made sure that he wouldn't be the mayor of, uh, of Providence. <laughs> that, was, that was one thing we did. At first I thought you were going off a plot of a movie. No. <laughs> no. That happened. <laughs> but no... <laughs> We're way past statute of limitations. On yeah, this. yeah, on that. But oh, one, on what you're one, talking. About. I'm not even gonna be too specific. But mm. me and one of my stepbrothers were out casually playing golf. One of the four or five times that I played golf, because there's like a little par three in, in Louisville that's like cheap and like yada yada. On the south end of Louisville, I'm not even gonna get into too many specifics. Right. Still recording? We still on, baby? We still good? I think we're good. That, that thing turned on. <laughs> <laughs> we're on, we're on, all right, guys, rock and roll. All right. Nice. But, uh, See, sometimes tourists come through and they're like, we got a story. We met these two assholes filming something. <laughs> <laughs> they said some fucking dumb shit to us. Yeah. And now I'm retarded. Yeah. But, uh, so. Golfing. Me and one of my stepbrothers were, were golfing. Yeah. And the little clubhouse, tiny little clubhouse, probably 50 by 50 or 100 by 100, nothing crazy. Yeah. Um. I don't know why I threw out measurements, but <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody from my f- our family came and picked us up, right? And we met him up by the club, fuck, met them up by the clubhouse, and uh, just for like shits and gigs, it was all closed. We like open the door, see if we can open the door. Yeah, and we're like, yo, this shit's open. Mm. Yeah, it gets open. This is the time before cameras were like really, really prevalent. It's probably like. In Kentucky, this was probably like yeah. last year. <laughs> <laughs> closer to closer to twenty years ago, yeah. or fifteen, yeah. or actually more than fifteen. Anyway, it's open. And then when, whenever they pull up, we're like, "Yo, this is open." And they kind of poke their head in. We just bum rush the shit. We th- get every fucking. We get all the golf clubs, wow. golf balls. We're grabbing twelve packs of sodas, boxes of crackers, and cookies Damn. and shit. We steal everything. <laughs> we stole everything. <laughs> Just took it all. We stole everything. What'd you do with the golf clubs? Well, ooh, I didn't really golf like that. 
Oh, so the other guys I just, just took them. Yeah, yeah. I had just, I mean, yeah, I had a full set after that. Yeah. <laughs> but it just kind of got given away to other people because I didn't really, <laughs> I don't golf. That's like a rich white man thing. That shit sucks, dude. But my, I, I, there's people in my family that really do. My step, my, there's people in my family that's really good at it. One person. Yeah, yeah. My stepdad's really good at it. But like, I hate golf, dude. It's so fucking hard. It is it's hard. It's infuriating. I'm not a huge, huge, like, fan of it myself. Um, I but, appreciate it. Yeah, I, I want to go pe- to a golf. Event. People fuck with it. I don't want to go to a golf. That seems. A little I cool. do. I would go to like the Masters. Yeah, they just had it in drunk. Kentucky, or that was no, one, or that, one no, of the things, not the Masters. Georgia, Masters always in Georgia. Yeah, well, they had a some sort of PG something. In, PGA tour. Yeah, somewhere. I don't know the fuck it. It was at Valhalla. They do the Ryder Cup. They're doing the Ryder Cup in uh, New York this year. Ryder just met her. Hey, here's hey. us talking about golf and how much we hate it. <laughs> I fucking hate golf. What's that? No, it's well, we smoke Kinda. weed on the podcast, but it's not about weed. Yeah. We would run out of stuff to talk about in like three seconds. But it is called Front Me Till Friday. It is called Front Me Till Friday. Yeah. And it's on YouTube. What are you guys doing? Where are you from? from here. Mass? Massachusetts. From here? What are you guys just hanging out? You guys nice. smoke weed? Hell yeah. You guys got some weed you want to give me? <laughs> no. You have weed No, sorry, man. All right, guys, have a good time. <laughs> you dress like a French maid. What the fuck is going on? So that was a, like a, a pretty boring-looking white dude, but with a smoke show of a black girlfriend. Yeah, it happens. Um, it happens. <laughs> shit, it's happening with me right now. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> but no, she was dressed like a schoolgirl, like a maid. Like a French maid, that woman. She was problematic. Can a, can a black woman still dress like a French maid? Ooh. Right? Well, let us know in the comments. That's, that's a little problematic. I won't say it. What's going on here? As long as you don't call her anything weird. Right. Anyway. Just her name. Anyway. Sex ass black mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little black hoe. <laughs> hey, clean up that window. Let me know. Hey, don't let me find no string in the window, little hoe. Why are we black? Yeah, now we're black. Now we're black. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. There won't be any streaks. And then she talks white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly. All my hoes clean my house naked so they don't steal nothing. <laughs> booty hole naked. <laughs> I want to see that booty hole when you bend over. Naked. I love it when people pronounce it like that. There's naked. certain words. I, I I have an infatuation with the way people pronounce words sometimes. I love it. Last night at my work, there was a British gal. Yeah. She fucking, she was trying to say strawberry margarita. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberry margarita. Stru- and I was yeah. like, oh, that's tight as fuck. Strawberry. Strawberry. Like and I tried teeth are <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> I tried, crunched. I tried to mimic it. I, mean, str- I tried to mimic it. I'm a strawberry. And it, strawberry. I just sound like a fucking idiot. Sounds like you're having a stroke. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry. Str- <laughs> <laughs> Smells like burnt toast. Smells like strawberry. <laughs> yeah, we're just turning into Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean Connery wants a st- strawberry margarita. It's okay to hit your woman every now and then. <laughs> I know you saw that interview. That's awesome. When Sean Connery is like, yeah, I hit my girl every now and then. She yeah, deserves it. Right. <laughs> More or less, right? Like, whoa. Kevin Gates says that at the beginning of one of his, one of his songs well, in you, a hilarious way. When you look like Kevin Gates, you can hit your girlfriend. Yeah. He's like, I thought it was legal to beat yo ho. <laughs> she, she yo ho. Fuck. She your property. <laughs> I just bought the bitch some chilies. I can hit the bitch, right? <laughs> That's Jeez. crazy. We both drank about three, four margaritas. Now I'm going to slap the bitch. I'm Sean Connery, and I want Kevin Gates to fuck my ass. <laughs> I got six she- jobs. I don't get tired. <laughs> she a player? I ain't, in the, I ain't in none of that. She a player? I don't even think he says that. You she welcome to the rock. Well, we have two phones. <laughs> one for the plug and one for the load. One for the load. I'm, yeah. I'm not a good, I don't have a good Sean Connery impression. Your mother, yeah. Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That would, who would? You yeah, talking to the end of the mic. Who would? Uh, I know. Um, <laughs> this is just my first time doing this, guys. I, I'm sorry. There's over 100 episodes of Smoking Simmon. Smoking Over Simmy. 100. Over 300, 200? Over 300. This guy has over 300 episodes of a podcast. And nobody listens. It's, uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get a little traction. <laughs> I'm trying no, it actually has gotten better. It's but gotten he's, better. Not the gr- but he's, not, he's not the marketing genius that I am. Yeah, I know. He's a little, he has shame. Do? That's his problem. He has shame. What do you, yeah, I guess. I have no pride, no shame. In a sense. In a sense. In a sense. Some, In a sense. Something my grandma does not have. Evan's, Evanescence. My grandmother went to hell. You know that, You think right? so? She's oh, up yeah. screaming at us right now. 
She's doing Burning. something. I don't, she's you not know looking what? down on us, smiling. <laughs> to be, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not. I don't really care much about the heaven and hell thing. Yeah, yeah. Who knows what happens? Who gives, Who gives a, a fuck? I think you just die. What's up? How you guys feeling? This isn't a religious thing. How do we feel about heaven or hell? Is it a real thing? Religious. All right. It's not a religious thing. Is that what I said? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what religious? Religious. Religious. Yeah. What religious. was I putting together? Religious and ickle. And philosophical. <laughs> religious. Yeah. Religion. That's a popsicle. Religion. That's what the priest calls his cock. Come on. Suck this relig- religious young boy. <laughs> Come here, young boy, and suck this religical. Religical. <laughs> it's a fudge religical. <laughs> religical. I am fucking retarded. That's awesome. All right, but. What's next Next on the list? Next on the list. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> We're flying through it. What's up, guys? Where are you from? I'm from, uh, from New York. Hell yeah. You know, you're from New York, too? Nice. What are you guys doing? Just hanging out? Yeah. Hanging uh, out, just chilling. What are these tattoos you got? What are you guys doing? Podcast. Oh, oh, podcast. Oh, no, I know. It's called Front Me Till Friday. Friday. Yeah, man, we're just hanging out, talking bullshit, and talking about, how old are you? 21. Jesus, how old are you? 20. You look like you're about fucking 16, dog. I'm not going to lie. You be careful, okay? You have an ID on you? Okay, that's. I would say that, too. (laughs) Bye, you guys. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself, man. Enjoy the day. It's a nice day. Front Me Till Friday on YouTube. Bang. You'll be on. Go fuck around. Yeah. Right. That was weird. That was so weird. That was weird. That was so weird. Um, he like wanted to be like, what are you doing? But then when I started asking him questions. He, he got did. weird. He got weird. When I said his girlfriend looked underage, which she does. She does. It looks like a child. She does look like a child. He looked like, he had know. He had tattoos on his forearms, like two on his forearms. White trash tattoos. Yeah. He's fucking trashy. He's like, God is life. <laughs> on his arm. <laughs> Only God can judge me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my next tattoo is going to be be a straight up wigger tattoo. Hope you know that. Oh, what's it going to say? I don't know, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like I want money tattooed on me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like got get a dollar to get, sign cat tattooed on you. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to get like a money or dollar sign. I want like flaming money or something <laughs> on me. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I want it. Get a hand like I don't know, like that or something. Or yeah, yeah, the praying hands. I need praying hands with a big fat wad of hundreds in yeah. between the praying yeah. hands. <laughs> <laughs> I pray for money. That's yeah. all I pray to. I pray to the money gods. I pray to the money. There was a song by a guy named Jin Gates called Money. No, it's called All I Ever Love. And the chorus is Money All I Ever Love. Money All I Ever Love. Money All I Ever Love. That's relatable. Not even my mother. <laughs> Not even my family. Because he's Asian. Really? Jin Gates. J I N. Yeah. Halls about to fall out of his pocket. Halls. Brought to you by Halls. Do you want to have a coated mouth and lips for the next hour after you finish it? Eucalyptus. Nah. Eucalyptus dick, bitch. <laughs> oh. So look. <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I have written down uh, on the paper, yeah. bullet points, it says crackheads on your block. Do I have any? Yeah, do you um, have any you, you, you nod to, you say what's up to? Do you have any familiarity with I your I live crackhead? with one. I live with a relative relative crackhead. Oh. Maybe not crack, but he's he gets blasted. On what? Uh, I think booze. I think he's a real booze hound. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're like cousins, booze hound, crackhead. Well, here's the thing. One of them's just got a little more energy. The booze makes you smoke crack. Sure. The booze, if you drink enough booze, you'll get drunk and you won't really care about what you're doing next. Does that make sense? That's your whole, never happened to me. Your whole, I mean, your whole frame <laughs> of thought is just fucked. I've been fucked, like fucked up and offered cocaine. And I've never, I still haven't done it. That's good for you. I did, <clears throat> I did about two G's on Sunday. Yeah? Yeah, my, yeah. I'm banging it out. Fucked up my nose for a couple of days. Nice. But, yeah, it was a party. I just, um, you know, we're moving in a month, and I was just, I was feeling real good. I was just like. Feeling nice. Yeah, I was just like, man, I knocked out, like, like $1,000 of this, like, money I had to, like, put away. Mm. I need to put away 3000 I have a, uh, I put away 1000 I felt real good. I was like, man, you're doing all right. Behind the wall? You put it behind the wall? Yeah, I, 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 underneath <laughs> the floorboard. Dude, I, when I was trying to be a financial advisor, I, uh. 
Uh, Jesus. I, I remember calling people up and the the strategy or the way that the the company I worked for wanted to do it was you had to make a list of a hundred people that you knew, your family knew, people in your family. It was really demoralizing calling these people and being like, yeah, you know your buddy Jake? He said that you'd be interested in life insurance or you'd be interested in uh, a, a Roth IRA or something because what, and the guy you gave me is some dude who changes tires at Pet Boys or something. And he's like, what, who the fuck, you know? But anyway, there was a guy that I knew that That's I ridiculous. worked with. That I hit him. I, I worked with him. Uh, he was a server in a restaurant, mm-hmm. and he was a dude who was like a. Uh, I mean, he had kids and everything, but he was a real side hustle guy. He was always selling something. Mm-hmm. He's he would always have like a like an. He would make his own specials, he, mm-hmm. like at work. He'd be like, "This is the Andy special," and it'd be like a sixty dollars special. It's like two fillets with lobster tails and shit. But anyway, it was a real hustling kind of guy, and I remember talking to him. What? <laughs> I remember talking to him, and he. Uh, I was like, do you want, I can set up an interview with uh, with my boss and um, we can see if, if there's something that you want to buy into. And he's like, yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'll, I'll listen. And we <laughs> Did talked. Did you know this guy personally? Andy. Yeah, Andy. I used to, I worked with him for years as a server. Okay. And then you went to this other job and then called him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. This, okay. this tells you the pool of wealth that I'm surrounded by where I come from. So I, I hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> you hit up your old coworker for an investment. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this guy that I knew that would sell weed. Uh, see, and he was like f- fucking 48. Okay. No, maybe not that old. 43. So he was like financially responsible. Kids. He would like put shit back. He would do things. I mean, in a sense, not really. He was a server and he would buy and sell stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna um. So look, I gotta just on the DL. She has headphones in, dude. This lady's decrepit, dog. Here, here, I gotta pan. I gotta pan. I gotta pan. She's about eighty. This woman. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> She's going to get her rings, my precious. That's not nice. That's not fucking nice. This is what Jake brings out of me. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. That's not nice. Someone's going to hear that. Someone's going to hear it, and they're not going to be happy about it. That wrinkled old hot dog bitch. Yeah. Damn, that's wild. She was. I don't, but she was doing good. She, she was running more than me. <laughs> yeah, I know. That lady's probably 90. That was wild. So anyway, I'm now Andy. <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm on the phone with my boss, Tim Ehlers, who's been on, on the Smoking Simeon, with my boss, Tim Ehlers, uh, who, who is conducting the over-the-phone interview process with this guy, Andy. And, uh, and he asks him, he's like, all right, so, because he's got to ask him what kind of uh, money he, he can even put toward something like a life insurance policy. Uh, disposable income is the word. Okay. So he asks him about bank accounts, and he asks him about accounts and all this shit and his assets that he has, and he goes, um, he goes, yeah, so uh, you have bank accounts. How much money do you have in your bank account? And he's like, well, I only have a bank account that I use to make a couple payments on here and there, but really I, I, don't, I don't use bank accounts. Hmm. And the guy, and Tim is like, oh, you're, you're serious? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, so where do you keep your money? And he's like, behind walls and shoe boxes and my house and my boss is just laughing he's like oh okay well because if you have a house fire you're so fucked mm. or if anything happens of a fucking storm a fucking more more in the fact that i uh I, this is the guy that I, I had for a sit down conversation about financial assets yeah that's you know? where you're gauging your fucking you yeah know. this is i'm like this is this is who i got <laughs> i'm like hey tim this is who i got this is a guy He's got a, uh, he drives a, a Lincoln Navigator from 2008 that's paid off. <laughs> I wonder why you're a server now. And on the phone, he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, I, I, I try to take care of my kids. I really take care of my kids. You know, I, my, their mother was running around with a pimp. And, fuck, and, then, and Tim's like a well-to-do businessman. So like she's running around with a pimp, fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Tim's like, oh well, that's you know. He just tries to really smooth it over and, and like move past it. <laughs> it was just a funny moment. Yeah, it's a, the, the 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 meeting of two worlds is yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> so that's why that's why that that didn't happen. I did How that did for about did? six days and I quit. 
How did we get on that? Months and month years of going to college. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I was like, this is not good. Just for you to sit in the park and make fun of tourists with me. And uh, and uh, and it's way better. Hey, at some at some it's point this could be our full time job. Sure. If you actually buckle down and get serious. <laughs> but uh. So you don't I'm really good. you don't yeah sorry you got to go to work. No, after this. So you don't really have any crackheads on your block. I, I have. A, I'm sure I do. I have a few. Well, you know where I live. There's like it's like you know it's Manhattan. There's people. There's just shit. Right. Going on and like, I'm about to move to where to where it's like. I'm in the middle of a bustling, or like right now, I'm in like a community. Right. I have like a fruit person. I have crackheads. I have, I have bodegas. I have businesses. I say hey to every day that I walk by. And I'm about to move to like a downtown area where it's just all businesses. Right. Or like, like not, or like, not like, you know what I mean? There's no, yeah. I'm, you're you're like in a metropolitan area. It's not like a community. Yeah, I'm gonna be losing my sense of community. I'm actually worried yeah. about it. I think yeah. it's gonna depress me. Yeah. It might. I keep bringing it up to my girlfriend. She doesn't really. That's why people move to cities. She to doesn't really listen to me. To self-isolate. <laughs> My girlfriend doesn't listen to me. <laughs> I she, just b- went right over that. She doesn't. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, I keep warning her. I'm like, hey, babe. That's what this show is. I'm losing this. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm worried about losing a sense of community. I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. Like, cause, and then it's gonna make me depressed. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it could it could be a thing. That's what happens in cities. You 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 fucking especially when you live in the heart of a city. Like I live in Bed Stuy, which is uh, kind of along the lines of where you live in Harlem. Yeah. In the sense that it's a community. There's schools and there's families hey. and all that shit. And where I'm about to go is just going to be a huge building. It's just, just buildings. B- yeah. Just people in buildings, doing un ungodly shit. Nice shirt. Getting Spaceball shirt. Spaceball shirt. Cool. That is cool. Good for you. Yeah, they seem cool. You want to see my space balls? Hey. <laughs> There's not much space because they're so big. <laughs> that's, my f- that's my favorite thing on uh, of Kill Tony. Whenever Tony goes, yeah, he makes a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, MSG. You want to try MSG, to go to Kill Tony? I think it's sold out. Almost. I know a guy that has a ticket. That I think I he's know trying it. to get rid of. I know a guy that might be on the show. I want to get on. I want. I want to get. I want to get on that bucket. That'd uh, be yeah. sick, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna try to sign Throw up. Your name in the bucket, Madison Square Garden. Here's a question: Should I put my real name or should I put Jake Two Baked? Uh, your real name. But I'm not a comedian. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah, Jake Two Baked. Right. I should just put how people can get a hold of me, right? On right. Instagram and stuff. Yeah. Right. Jake Two Baked, and then you go up there and. And then do my, what? And then, You'd know, fucking then, explode, dude. And then maybe my boss is on the, the guest fucking oh, thing. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, you know, maybe, 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 maybe. You never know. Yeah, I know there's yeah, a rotating yeah. door of guests on those big arena shows. Right. And, you know, maybe, maybe I uh, fucking, maybe, you, maybe I know somebody on uh, there. Maybe. I don't think you can rake the bucket, though. <laughs> I bet I can. No, I don't know, but I. Uh, I think about it a lot. <laughs> I know who to text. I know how to get to the top, baby. That's right. And it's through this show. It is through the show. It's it is called Front Me show. Till Friday. And I mean, we're going to put a bow on this thing in a minute. Uh, why not? About 53 minutes into it. Yeah. Kind of went by in a gif. I'm not going to lie. I kind of yeah. forgot how retarded and dumb this thing could be and how fun it could be. That's right. Whenever you're not stressed out, it is 3.02 in the p.m. Yeah. And because uh, I know you guys thought it was a.m. It is It is uh, interesting, though, because when I did move to Bed-Stuy, I instantly felt more community than when I lived in uh, any other place, I feel. Exactly. Like when I lived in Connecticut, I looked at it as a prison sentence, so I didn't, I didn't feel anything. Uh, yeah, I want to go to uh, Rhode Island with you. Yeah, that's easy. I Whenever actually do. Want. I want to go hang out. I want to go hang out in Rhode Island for a night. We should, we should make uh, that a thing on one of both of our days off. You can sleep in my fucking parents' house with my mother in a bed. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. If I, I'll take it. Or we could just do like a day thing. A day thing would be cool. We could yeah, shoot an episode in the day. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking we'd get up real fucking early. We meet at like, we meet at like Penn Station at like six, seven, eight a.m. Mm. Take a train. What two-hour train? Uh, a little longer. Three. A little longer. Yeah, maybe three. Three, three and a half. What's up, guys? Um, hey, we're staring hard. Yeah. Fuck. 
Maybe three hours, okay. and then we'll ship right off to Warwick, baby. Warwick. Warwick. We'll go to Oaklawn Beach. You want to see crackheads? You want to see cigarettes? You want to see fat ladies walking around oh, with yeah. black boyfriends and <laughs> three kids? I love this right now. Can oh, we do yeah. this in Rhode Island and, get, and we get mugged or some shit? No. Not mugged, but like crackheads steal our shit or no? No. We'll go to the Ocean State. We'll go by the ocean. Yeah, that's what it's called, the Ocean State? The Ocean State. They have that's a lot of shoreline, don't they? That's a lot of shoreline. Yeah. Tons and tons of shoreline filled with the bodies of people the mob killed 40, 50 years ago. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, the East River. Yeah. Dude, have you, ever, have you ever seen those people that go magnet fishing? No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And they pull up all kinds of shit. Mainly guns. Guns, yeah. I want to do that in like the Harlem and East River. Right, pull, pull up, up a, a gun. fuck ton of guns and shotguns and shit. Uh, that'd be nice. Hang hang them up in your house. Show them to your buddies. Look at this gun I pulled out of the river. <laughs> Look at it. Like, <laughs> it's, it. You have to turn. You have to turn in and see if it's stolen or from a crime. Yeah. Because you don't want to get caught with a gun that was committed in a murder. It's like a right. thing. That's like a real thing. The, ol- <clears throat> the only time I felt a sense of community in Rhode Island was when you would go to like fairs and feasts. All the Catholic fairs. Yeah, yeah, the fish like St. Saint, Saint Rocco's. Ah, uh, yeah. We had in in Louisville, Dixie, we had St. Paul's Picnic. Yeah. Yeah. And there was the St. Lawrence Fish Fry, like things like that. Right. Yeah. Those I'm were not nice. Catholic, though. My stepbrother went to Catholic school. Right. My uh, my grand, my step grandpa, my, my stepdad's dad, he really only liked one or a couple of the kids, and he would pick, <laughs> he would pick out one, and he sent, he sent two of them. Everybody had different mothers and fathers. Who were, just white trash as fuck. Yeah. But he sent like, he sent like one or two of them to Catholic school. Yeah. And then the rest just went to public. To That's fend nice. for themselves. Yeah, it's all right. That's nice. Some of y'all got indoctrinated a different way than the others. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just trashy. But you you left school early, so you yeah. bypassed half of that shit. Yeah, I did. I did leave <laughs> after ninth grade. Not half, like a like a yeah. an eighth. There's a skateboarder coming through here. Gonna have to kill him. And I please, I just want him to watch out for my thing. Yeah, I bet he will. I, just want to I watch bet out. he will. Skateboarders are notoriously. Hey, they're safe. Notorious, of, they're uh, skateboarders are notoriously safe. Oh yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I mean, four little wheels you on a piece of wood. You didn't even look. That's no, awesome. I mean, I like riding on a skateboard, but I have one in my house. <clears throat> I knew that shit wasn't for me when I was a fucking kid. I got on that thing. I was like, I fuck like that. I just, I can't ride a board right no now because I can't hurt myself, dog. I can't be out of work. Yeah, It'll really fuck funny? me up. When you get older, you're like. I, I swear to God, if I if, if I skateboard and I hurt my ankle or something right now, it's, yeah. I'm fucked. You're fucked. I'm so fucked. If I'm out of work for a week or ten days, who cares about a month or two? A month or two, I will be single, home. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in Kentucky sucking dick. You'll be dick. ruined, yeah. Sucking dick with a broken leg. I know, it'd be fucked. Yeah. And I think that's the name of this episode. Back in Kentucky, sucking dick with a broken leg. <laughs> what is the name of this <laughs> that's episode? That's too long. <laughs> It'll probably be called My Grandma Smoked Crack. That's not bad. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, I'm Jake Dubake NYC. This Antonio is, the Comical. And he has a show called The Smoking Simeon that everybody should have. I mean, if you're still here, I doubt anybody's still here. Uh, <laughs> you should check out his, uh, his show. He's a, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's trying his best. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm man. He's trying fucking, real hard. He, it's a little bit more intellectual than this show. He talks to doctors and lawyers and fighters <laughs> and shit. I'm serious. He talks to like fighters and kung, kung, kung fu guys and shit. Kung fu. And he has Billy on there. Shout out Billy. Billy. Hey, guys. But this has been uh, From Me Till Friday. And until next time. Peace.